Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and we have a fairly interesting comparison today. This is Hunter Labrada, and I know he has been around for several years, but really he is one of the new names on the scene. So we're going to see how he stands up and stacks up against this hungry lion in Akeem Williams. Now, I'm a huge fan of Akeem Williams. Follow him on Instagram. See his, his progress. I mean, the guy is looking like a horse as of late, but so is Hunter Labrada, and he brought this package to the 2020 Tampa Pro winning version, of course. This is Akeem at the 2020 Arnold's Classics. Ah, get to the chopper! It's been several days, or maybe even a week or more since I did an Arnold impression, so there you go, guys. This is a little bit hard to tell from the front relaxed. Akeem, for some reason, he's a little weak in this position. He doesn't really, doesn't really flex up, I guess. And besides, we don't have a rear relaxed, of course. So we dive right into the muscularity round. This is a good pose for both of these gentlemen. I like the physique more, I think, of Hunter Labrada. But the more I look at Akeem Williams, his abs are washed out a little bit. But look at those lats. Just incredible. When I look at the arm development, it is all she wrote. Akeem Williams, he is a hero in this pose. He is an absolute superhero in this shot. Look at that. And I know I have accused... Hunter Labrada for putting something in his biceps, but hey, if he works hard on them, he, he could have improved that much, but not enough to defeat Akeem. Those are mini basketballs in his biceps, not the full-size ones, but the little ones that you can get for your kids. But anyway, here in the front lat spread, and Akeem, he eases the throttle, and he pumps the gas a little bit, and he, he advances ahead of Hunter Labrada. I was going to call him Lee Labrada there. You remember that, guys? That video I made? I called him Lee Labrada over and over again. Made you guys so mad. Oh, memories. So, this is usually not a great one for Akeem Williams, but honestly, guys, Hunter really needs to work on the execution of this. He has the groceries. He's, he's no slouch, for sure, but I think it all has to do with the execution of the pose. Akeem Williams... Not the not the best in this one, but I'm telling you right now, it's definitely enough to defeat Hunter Labrada as is. Turn these gentlemen around, or, or not around, but to the side for uh, to gauge their thickness. And I have to I have to say, both of these guys are thick, huh? Very thick. They're almost mirror images of each other with the with the lag development. Look at the hanging hamstrings, the glutes. Quads, everything. I think the hamstrings are a little bit better for Hunter Labrada, but Hakeem battles back with the superior quad development and calves as well. Hakeem from the side here develops an, or has an awesome calf development. Just tremendous. Little bit of stomach distension, I do detect for Hunter Labrada. Close in the side chest, though, guys. Now this one. <laughs> you guys know exactly who I'm going to pick for this one. I got my pom-poms out. I'm cheering, hooting, and hollering for Hunter Labrada's side tricep. Just fantastic. And if you know my channel, I, I, that's why I gave a little giggle. You know I don't like these hoo-ha positions being used as a side tricep pose. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, a hoo-ha. I'm a little bit of a hoo-ha, but a, could be a ding-dong. This is a hoo-ha position that is that Akeem Williams is snapping. And I think it should be... A customary pose, not a mandatory, but it should be customary. You throw this one out there, and the judges should judge it. Like a Christmas trees, baby, please, which we do not have. But we go right into the back development. And I have to say, it was hard to gauge the sizes here. Akeem is a little bit taller than Hunter, but look at him spread eagle. And I compared pictures of him with other gentlemen that were about the same height, and they were... They were dwarfing him in height. He loses a lot of height when he does this. He spreads eagle. But he has a good back development, guys. It's good and wide. Nice and three-dimensional as well. He has a good thick trap development. And I don't think Hunter Labrada has that three-dimensional thickness. But he, he sure has the size. He's dry as well. So close in the rear lat. And the rear double by. I kind of like Hunter Labrada a little bit better in this one. 
a little bit shallow is the back. Almost Dennis Wolf-like for Akeem Williams. He needs to develop that thickness, and I I know he is. He's doing it right now, I'm sure. He's training in the gym for those lower lat insertions. It's a genetic thing. It's a hard time getting those. And Hunter Labrado, I mean, he's not the best in that area either. He looks like Sean Roden, to tell you the truth. Exactly like Sean Roden. So the back, both back poses, I think it's fairly even. It's close anyway, guys. Maybe an edge to Akeem. That's a personal decision, though. Ab and thigh, there's no personal feelings in this one. There is poses in bodybuilding that are iffy. Could go either way. You'll never get a true answer. 50-50, 70-30, what have you. This one here is a definite point for Hunter Labrada. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Some people are confused about bodybuilding. They don't realize that there is there are points. Can anybody just win? No. There's poses like this, guys. This is condition plus. But anyway, conditioning means a whole lot in bodybuilding. So we end up in the most muscular, and Hunter Labrada was... He was really losing heading into this, or the ab and thigh, but he, he gained some ground back. Is he gaining any ground on the most muscular? I think he is. That torn pack is a little bit distracting. Not too much. Akeem, huge. He needs to develop a little bit more muscle separation in those abs. He has a good, decent set of abs. If he could bring them out, lose a little layer of water, perhaps. Either way, it's close. Let's have another most muscular. This is kind of a crab for Akeem Williams. And I guess a hands clasped for Hunter Labrada. I like that crab. I like that crab. But in both cases, Hunter Labrada looked slightly drier in both of the most musculars. So at the end of the day, guys, this is a darn close one. A very close one, to tell you the truth. And I could get in trouble with this, but I'm leaning towards Hunter Labrada, believe it or not. I was giving him a loss in both front shots, but... He battled back in both the side, and it was fairly even in the back shots. Maybe an edge to Akeem, and that's where maybe create some controversy in this. But he battled back with that ab and thigh. It was a supreme victory in that ab and thigh. And he looked more conditioned in the most muscular. So there you have it, guys. Controversial or not, I'm going with Hunter Labrada. So Akeem Williams, take note. Get a little bit drier, and really you could clean house in this matchup. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Hit thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Instagram. Have a great day.